it recognizes the ones that you created earlier. The auto completes, you press enter, and come back to run mode. Uh, yeah, the class has been going great. We've had lots of interest from um, a consortium of businesses in this region. Um, employers, employees from Breakbush, uh, AMPI, Awesome Produce, and Cardinal Glass you know, have participated in classes, uh, you know, the first session from February to April, and then we continued on another nine weeks from uh, April to going to June 10th. And uh, yeah, I think everybody's getting uh, a lot out of it, you know, they get the opportunity to work with equipment they normally wouldn't be um, working on in the facility because of running production on it. So here they have the opportunity to practice and uh, um, work with the uh, different pieces of equipment, understand how instructions work and how they are applied and used. For us, when we go on rounds, we have to check the cabinets, open them up and check the PLCs, make sure there's no faults and things like that. They want you to know, know what you're looking at, you know, so you're just not looking at a bunch of boxes up there going, okay, what's that, you know. For minor stuff, uh, there's two maintenance guys there, and then we have just recently uh, got an electrical engineer. Uh, between the three of us, we do a lot of the smaller programming, modifications, stuff like that. Otherwise, a big chunk of it is actually contracted out. It's another tool for, you know, for myself, that when I'm doing phone conferences with our programmer, you know, we understand, I, get, I understand the language, so I can communicate better with him. Uh, another style that we have, it's an older, kind of outdated style. Um, the robot was frozen up in a position and going through the computer. We couldn't get it to go back to its home position. So we went into the PLC, we overrode everything else and told the PLC to move it right or left or until it hits prox switches to get it to go back to home so that we could start the program back up from scratch and start it over and get everything back in time, <laughs> things like that. So we just did that uh, two days ago. <laughs> Make sense, Dan? Yeah. So, um, yeah, again, important to. I'm getting there. Not quite there yet. But basically, on the left hand side are all my inputs. On the right hand side are output instructions. We've got timers. And then I've got another one that's uh, jumped to a subroutine. And then down at the bottom here, we've got main routine and subroutine. And then I've got another set of programming in there. Actually, when I started the class, I was um, had had no computer experience at all, almost a little bit in, uh, in the CNC department and machining. But um, as far as even just you know using a regular computer, I didn't you know didn't even know how things work. So it's also a, uh, basically a computer class for me besides the PLC class because I'm here to learn how to use the computer.